Right, we're going to keep the sporting uh, theme going on here. Have you ever heard of pickleball? No. Not pricklebat, as I think you might have mentioned to me earlier. Pickleball. <laughs> I didn't know what it was. It's right. a bit like tennis. And the biggest ever competition in the sport outside America is taking place in Telford. Yes, there are apparently hundreds of competitors taking part in the British Open. And we've sent Mark Keller-Schlevine to check it out. Mark, you've been doing some practice and yeah, you look quite a natural at it. Well, I'm glad you say that, Sam. Thank you very much. I'm having to concentrate really hard at this knockabout here because I'm used to having a ball at my feet rather than a paddle in my hand. But as you say, it's a really fast growing sport. Over the next four days, we've got a thousand people coming to Telford for the English Open. If the sport looks familiar, it's because it's a cross between badminton, tennis and badminton and tennis. I should say it's a cross between, so I'm trying to concentrate here. Um, but what is pickleball? How do you play it? What are the rules? Well, check this out. It's the fastest growing sport in America and played by celebrities like Matthew Perry and Leonardo DiCaprio. Pickleball was invented by three dads and their kids as a backyard game in the 1960s and it's grown from there. It's played with a paddle and a wiffle ball on a badminton sized court. Scoring is pretty easy, it's just like badminton, first to 11 but you've got to win by two. You can only win points off your own serve and you can volley but both players need to be outside of this non-volley zone. Unlike paddle tennis, but just like badminton and regular tennis, you can play in singles and in doubles. You're also very close together on court, which gives a much more intimate social experience. Well, I should have said it's a cross between table tennis, tennis and badminton, but that's live TV for you when you're concentrating during a game. Well, with me now is Michael, who's from Worcestershire, a local player, and Karen, who's co-founder of Pickleball England. Karen, I have to ask you first, you took this sport on in this country and you've organised this in Telford over this weekend. Why and why the Midlands? <laughs> so I started playing in 2015 and I played with a lot of the people who are here and they actually encouraged me to start Pickleball England and then I found Frank Arico who was willing to do it as well. Here because it's big enough to hold a thousand and fifty nine people basically, nowhere else was big enough, that's why. And what do you hope is going to come out of the next few days, obviously it's a growing sport here. I really want to encourage more people to play pickleball, but I'm also feeding the addiction for those people who want to compete. Um, and I just want to show everyone that we can, in England, do as well as they do in America in terms of putting on a tournament. Karen, thank you very much. Well, on the other side of the net to me that you didn't see is Michael. And Michael, you're a, a local player from Worcester. Why did you get into pickleball? Well, I found out about it. Um, I was interviewing a guest from America on my podcast and he mentioned the word pickleball. I'd never heard of it. And I started going onto YouTube, researching it, found Karen at Pickleball England and said, how can I start playing pickleball in my local area? So Karen very kindly sent over a county rep and she showed me what to do. And now we've got between 50 and 60 people playing every week. Great, well, Michael, you look like you're really into it. You're really enjoying it. Maybe we can have a, another knockabout after this. Really easy game to play, Stephen Sam. Perhaps even you both can have a go after the programme. <laughs> I, I like the even you both. That's nice, isn't it? We, we'll have a go, Mark. Thank you very much and keep on playing. Mark did quite a good job of proving men can do more than one thing at once until he got muddled up with his badminton and things. Shall we get the weather? <laughs> you, just, you just shot yourself in the foot there, didn't you? <laughs> Let's get the weather with James Wright. <laughs>